Hello everyone, this is a UNM CAR-C Quick Byte tutorial. High performance computing centers and research computing centers like uh, CAR-C have to support thousands of users and thousands of different software packages and software environments. To make that easier, we use something called environment modules, and we also use Conda environments. In this video, I'll talk about environment modules, and we'll look at Conda environments later. So the first thing I'm going to do is SSH into one of Carsey's um, clusters. Once I'm logged in, um, I can load all sorts of different software modules, so I can use the programs that they refer to. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is a couple of useful commands. So module list, if I type that now, it shows that there are no modules loaded. Module avail will show me a list of all the software modules that are installed on Wheeler. Um, there are a lot of these to support all the different users we have, but it gives you an idea of what software is available for you to use. Uh, any software packages that you don't find are available, we can install for you. All you have to do is send an email to help at carc.unm.edu, and we'd be happy to set up your software. All right, so let's take a look at what showed up here. It took a little while because there are so many, but you can see there are software packages like MATLAB, general purpose um, math mathematical programming. There are uh, quantum chemistry and uh, quantum dynamic chemistry software packages here. There are also bioinformatic packages like Chime and engineering simulation packages like Star CCM. There's a huge variety of software installed Here's uh, Gaussian for molecular dynamics. Here's Garobi for uh, linear and integer programming and optimization. And I can search for a particular package by typing module avail and part of the name of that package. So if I type in MATLAB, it will show me the different versions of MATLAB that are available. So we have MATLAB 27A, MATLAB 2018B, and MATLAB 2019A. So the point of these modules is to give you access to the software you need um, and configure everything for you so it will, it will work. For example, let's say that I wanted to do some R programming. I will type module load R dash, and then I'm going to hit the tab key, and that will auto-complete all the matching packages um, to what I've just written. So it'll show all the R dash packages. There are a lot of them. So you have to uh, realize that um, there are many different ways of creating an R environment, and each of these packages represents a researcher who wanted a particular version of R installed. So for example, here's an R version 3.4.3 that was installed with an Intel compiler. Here's R 3.5.0, 3.6.2. And because we track these different software versions with modules, you can always load exactly the version that you need. I'm going to load this module. So here I'm just going to uh, copy the name of that module. So if I take module load, it loads that module. And the first thing I want to show you is that if I type module list here, even though we loaded just one R module, it automatically loaded all the dependencies that that software needed. So in this case, there were 47 other modules that got loaded in support of that one R program. For example, here's Cairo. Cairo's sole job is to do font smoothing for plotting. Here's a module that got loaded to support Java, because this version of R uses uh, Java in the back end. All right, now that I've loaded that module, I can type R, and I can check to make sure that, yes, I do have access to R.
And when I'm finished with a module, if I want to load something else, um, I can type module purge to remove all the modules I've loaded. And I can get information about um, software modules by typing module show, and then the name of the package I'm interested in. So for example, if I look at the Chime 2 module, uh, it tells me exactly what the module is doing, uh, it's setting up all these paths so that um, we can find the Chime binaries. And it has a helpful description telling me what Chime is for. So Chime is a microbiome pipeline, and this is version 2018.8. All right, um, that's the basics of uh, mod environment modules. They are a way of organizing software packages so you can get access to exactly the software you need. Uh, if you don't, as I said before, find the software module that you want, let us know and we will build one for you.